guys, what's up? Uh, today this is actually my first CS5 Photoshop tutorial, and I'm going to show you how to remove uh, blemishes, pimples, acne, band-aids, cuts. Yeah, you can remove pretty much anything like that. Uh, yeah, like maybe take like a picture, you maybe you're at a wedding, you graduated or something, and there's a little pimple in your face, maybe you had a little scar you want to get rid of to kind of make the perfect picture, or at least make it look a lot better. Uh, so you can do that. So here I just I uh, found a picture on Google of some kid with a little bit of acne down on his chin and a little pimple up there, and we're going to make him look a lot better. So, and you can also remove freckles, which is kind of cool. He's got a little freckle there. So, uh, sorry, buddy, you're going to be in my tutorial. So, right click him, just copy image, file, new, doesn't matter the dimensions, edit, paste. Uh, you want to go ahead and delete your background image right click this layer and uh, you want to duplicate it right click duplicate layer you can call it whatever you want and we'll be working right on the duplicated layer so to start off um, Photoshop should look like this right click on this tool right here and change it to the patch tool and now what the patch tool will let us do is it'll let us basically take out a patch of the skin and replace it with another part so for example I take out this part of the skin this little acne and I kind of move it to the side and now whatever that see my mouse whatever that mask is showing is what it'll replace uh, this uh, piece I selected of his skin with so I can replace it with his lips his teeth but I'm just gonna go somewhere on the skin that looks kind of natural so you have to be careful when you're uh, making adjustments around like the curves of his face because you could ruin the 3d depth and make the picture look pretty weird and kind of ruin the picture so you have to be kind of careful of that mask doesn't have to be perfect it can be pretty big too Like right here, you have to be kind of careful because it's right on his chin, and you could uh, mess up the way his chin curves, and that wouldn't be pretty good. And my Skype just popped up. Hold on. Okay. So I'm not going to make this perfect, obviously. I'm just going to kind of go around getting rid of some stuff. Right now, this is the main issue, this pimple right here. So we're going to get rid of that. And I have to be careful not to touch the hair. Try really hard not to touch the hair because you don't want to, like, take out a piece of his hair. It would look really weird. All right, and there you go. His pimple's gone. Now, as with the acne up here, you really can't do much about it because there's just so much hair in the way. But I'm going to show you a trick that could let you take out at least some of it. So, uh, yeah. Let's see what we've done so far. Before, after. Before, after. So, not bad, not bad. Take out this freckle right here. Go around the freckle. And yeah. Same with down here. And obviously a lot of you guys are going to be a lot faster than me. So, you know, oops. Alright. Really gotta lower my mouse sensitivity. It's really high right now, so it's kind of making it hard to do this. Alright, now it's a lot lower. It feels so much better. Alright. So you want to be careful also around his nose, because you don't want to disrupt the three-dimensional curves. Alright, so as for up here, his acne... Um, you don't want to. You don't really want to use the patch tool in case you select this here. You can use a spot healing brush, and you basically hit on the spot, and it kind of does its best to generate just a natural skin color. But as you can see, it doesn't work real well. You can see uh, it's not working very well. But uh, it depends on like your skin type. Like uh, it usually works pretty well. So I'm just gonna undo this. All right. So uh, you can. I guess you can try 
with this tool, the patch tool, but it'd be kind of hard because considering it's in his hair, you know. Uh, but I guess I could try. Get right around his hair. Hmm, this one's going to be kind of hard to take out. Uh, I guess this guy's looking pretty good. I could do a lot more, but, uh, this is, this is adequate for now for this tutorial. You guys can try this out yourself. Uh, let's just see how that looks right now. I might do a little more adjusting. Depends. Um, not much is noticeable. Oh, there's my Skype again. Interesting. Uh, you can just take out some stuff on his neck, maybe, and then I think we'll be done. That'll be it for this tutorial. I'm gonna make a lot more tutorials, especially ones that are coming soon about the custom new features and... After Effects, or not After Effects, sorry, what am I saying? Photoshop CS5. And I will be doing After Effects too. So, uh, yeah, I love After Effects. It's great. I used to use Vegas, uh, but After Effects is significantly better, but it's much harder to use. So I still kind of do use Vegas uh, when I don't want to spend like five hours trying to edit a video. Like just a simple tutorial like this. I want to do it in like 45 minutes, get it done with. And that's not regarding rendering speeds and stuff. That takes forever. Okay, so this guy's looking pretty good. Let's see how he looked before. Yeah, so uh, not bad. Not much noticeable difference because after all, this kid didn't have that much acne. But, uh, you know, it. I mean, you could do this, obviously, if you had a lot more acne. So, uh, let me see what time I'm at. Oh, wait, I don't have it to show. Uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, so I think I'll just wrap up this tutorial right here. So, uh, if you guys like this tutorial... Um, please subscribe to my channel. There's a lot more coming soon. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching again. Uh, please subscribe if you like this video. I really appreciate it when you guys subscribe. So, uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.